Mount Sinjar in northern Iraq was until last week controlled by Islamic State militant fighters. Well, now the mountain itself and some of the surrounding areas have been recaptured by Kurdish Peshmerga. And as our correspondent GR Gol reports, distributing aid has become much easier. The town of the Sununi at the foot of Sinjar Mountain. It still bears the graffiti from the occupation of the self-proclaimed Islamic State. But now the Kurdish Peshmerga forces has broken the siege of the mountain. For the first time, humanitarian aid is transferred to Yazidis trapped in the mountain via road. I can see the sigh of relief in the face of people here in the mountain. They have been trapped for months without water and food, and for many months they were just relying on a aid was carrying by a few old Soviet-made helicopters from Iraqi Kurdistan. But by opening this corridor in the past few days, much has changed for them. Taban is one of the aid workers on the convoy. She's been helping those on Sinjar from the start of the crisis. This is her when we first met in August, when ISIS first began their siege. These helicopters were the only way of helping those trapped. <laughs> Taban is now relieved. The nightmare siege is over. As you know, on our helicopter mission, we couldn't land. Um, and you can only distribute by throwing the items down. Now, when you throw it down, only I don't know how many percent of that aid is um, OK for, for use for, by the people, whereas now, we can actually deliver it by land and we can distribute it and make sure that it gets to the people unbroken and unharmed. The fight for Mount Sinjar has come at a high price. Dersim Rojhalati lost 17 of his comrades here. When we heard about the IS attack, we got here quickly and surrounded the area. We prevented what would have been a certain genocide against the Yazidis. But the fighting continues in Sanjar region. Many Yazidis, like this family, tell me they hope to go home soon. For now, they would rather remain on the mountain than live in a refugee camp. Georgul, BBC News on the Mount Sanjar.